Okay, um, thought I'd make a quick video, share some of what I've gotten done today. Um, find something to point with here. This here basically is just a, a Bedini circuit um, using a uh, NPN transistor right here. Um, I think that's a four one N four zero zero seven diode there for my <coughs> feedback. Um, is here. Uh, this diode bank is for um, to go to the charge charging battery, and um, this is in resonance right now, self oscillating um, or self resonance, or however you want to say that. Um, frequency right there, I'm not even sure. I have to look. 0 0.5. I think we're right around, I don't know, between 15 and 100 and, and 3,000 hertz. And, uh, anyway, um, yeah, this is just my setup. Um, I'll show you, the, I use these magnets here <laughs> because when I get it really close to, um, firing or going into resonance resonance um, then sometimes it's a little trickier to get it started but uh, just to show you uh, right now I'm just charging this uh, 9 volt battery here um, the source is an AC source uh, but it's only it's putting I think three it's a 3.3 .3 source it's on the low setting off of the computer supply so uh, yeah that's that um, this might look kind of funky to everybody, but see if I can get a picture of this. I don't know. I don't think that's going to come out. But anyway, um, this is a uh, real fine uh, 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 amp meter. I just made out of a stereo deflection meter and op amp. There's some garbage just not even being used there, and just a little uh, power supply. This is actually those are a bunch of D cell batteries that are hooked together to make a 12 volt um, that have all been charged on this also. Um, all throwaways. All my batteries are throwaways. <laughs> and um, yeah, right now it's uh, 9.86, and uh, just kind of letting it run. And uh, probably pull it off in the morning and swap to the next one. Like all my meters, everything here actually is running off of these throwaway batteries that uh, slowly are being uh, recouped, salvaged, whatever you want to say. Um, this is just my uh, resistors here that I use for uh, tuning it. Um, it's just, what do I got here? Three. 10Ks and a 5K, and um, I just got them all hooked together in series. Um, my coil is a bifiler, um, probably, psh, I don't even know, uh, seven, eight hundred feet um, per winding, or per coil, two coils. Um, just some uh, steel rod for the core definitely makes a difference. Without that core, um, the <coughs> inductance goes um, goes down, the frequency goes up, and vice versa. We don't get the collapse, and it'll work, and it'll charge, um, and it will go into resonance uh, like this without that in there. Um, you just, you don't get crap for a, a charge off of it. Um, the neon pull the battery off and the neon will come on it's I don't even know I think somewhere with 90 to 120 volt neon there and again this is just coming off a little 3.3 .3. and my this actually right here I, I probably again can't read it but I've got it scaled between 
like 1 and 50 milliamps and right now it's at 26 which is as high as I've gotten it um, and this is the draw off of the power supply so 26 milliamps 3.4 um, 3 volts and it gives me um, what's that, about 50, 57 milliwatts is my power usage. Um, or no, that's not right. It's more than that. It's more than that. That was when I was running it at uh, 16 milliamps. So it's a little higher than that. But um, Anyway, kind of talking nonsense here. It's pretty late. Um, just to show you, uh, if I drop the um, resistance too low, basically saturating the base on the um, the transistor, um, we'll see a flat line here. So I'm, I'm going to increase it right now, and by a very small amount, and bang, it's gone. And if you look over here, uh, voltage is now dropping back down the surface charge. If I look at my amp meter, there's no draw on the power supply. So to get this started again, um, I have to increase the resistance. And I can crank all these way up um, with this particular... Uh, resistor. It's a it's a 2SD880, I believe is what I'm using. Um, and no, it's not the best one. Nothing special. Um, it works. <laughs> That's why I'm using it. I had a bucket of them, and I grabbed the one that worked the best out of the bucket. Um, I do have a, a 3055 around here somewhere. I just got to go grab it. Um, so, bang, I just, just clicked that a little bit, and it's back. And now I can go ahead and I'll try to bring it in. And I think I, this is just from screwing it up a whole bunch of times, but right about there is about as far as I can push it before it collapses again or saturates. Um, or the, it's starting to build again. 81. And if I go back over here, um, well, my milliamp draw is still kind of low. Maybe I'll push it a little bit to see what happens. Push it just a little. Probably don't dare go much, much more than that. There, I think that's that's about what she's gonna. Uh, so it's building, and again, this actually this was marked previously. I got it up to 9.87. Um, it's almost there right now. And I've had it, actually last time I ran it, it went up to about 10, so it's um, slowly coming back. Um, what else? Um, that's, about, that's about it. Um, I want to do uh, more about these, this coil, because this is really what I think it's about, is um, working with, with self-resonating coils. Um, when I charge stuff, using a coil versus, um, here's one right there, there's a, a spinning motor. This one was, <laughs> this one was kind of interesting. Um, but this was a, you know, this one here was suspended. I have another video of it, um, of this one running when it was hooked up, but, um, the point there is very little friction and it's wobbling all over the place, but when it gets going, it uh, it holds pretty good.
but I'm not, I don't get, I don't get the, near the frequency, as high a frequency with something like that as I do just running a straight coil. So, I want to play with that, um, and, uh, some more. Also, I've got, um, some of these ignition coils here, which, uh, I'm really scratching my head. I want to see if I can't um, hook these up somehow to use these in the uh, the Bedini circuit or modified Bedini circuit. Um, I know uh, Dr. Stifler's work um, at a real basic level. I think this would we could work, and I might try that next too. Um, but the the issue is that. Uh, You've got two coils. You've got your primary, and secondary, but the um, the uh, there's a common between the two. So you got a common, then you got your output on your your uh, primary, and then output on the secondary, your high voltage. And uh, so with with some of uh, like what Lid Motor has done in some of his videos. Um, early, early on, the resonance stuff um, shows some circuits, and I think it'd work really kind of cool with that. And that's probably one of the next things that I'll play with, um, see what kind of charging I can get like that. Um, but if anybody has any ideas on hooking the ignition coil up using uh, a Bedini circuit, a modified Bedini circuit, um, hey, I'd be interested in that. And I think ultimately it's really going to come to some some kind of hybrid of a tank circuit with with multiple coils uh, and capacitance, some source of capacitance, whether you're using capacitors or um, just real small high voltage like uh, I've got a box of them around here, but like some microwave type of um, capacitors and um, that can really that can really handle the abuse, but anyway, in getting getting them all into residence, oscillating back and forth, and I think that's where we're really going to see some power um, with these types of circuits. Anyway, um, so long.